He cannot speak the truth. When we believe his lies, they take root in our minds and Satan establishes a stronghold. And this is why it is so difficult to identify the lies and even more difficult to stop believing them. And this is also true for those who operate as his children and, 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 and just spew out lies to the people. Understand that truth is always available to us should we decide to embrace it. You see, a lie will grab you, but the truth must be in, uh, uh, embraced. The truth. See, most lies uh, uh, have a sensationalism to them. So they grab or, or seize us suddenly and roughly. And to grab implies more roughness or rudeness than to hold or embrace. To embrace is an act of accepting or supporting something willingly, enthusiastically. We hold someone or something close as a sign of affection. Jesus is the truth that should be embraced. He is more powerful than Satan and therefore his troops are more powerful than Satan's lies. By allowing truth to take root in our minds, Satan's stronghold is weakened and eventually destroyed. God's claim uh, 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 that are grounded, that were once occupied by Satan, but renewed in our mind sets us free. And this is what is meant by the statement, we shall know the truth and the truth shall make us free. Nothing is more victorious than a person uh, 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 captive to a cult than to recognize the lies and accept the truth of Christ and all in that be set free. Galatians chapter five, verse one tells us, and this is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery.